for judgment this day, Inquisitor. I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here, but the decision of what to do with him is now yours. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. What did you have to do to release me? Josephine called in a few favors. There are enough people out there who owe the Inquisition. And what happens to the reputation the Ambassador has so carefully cultivated? The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. I wish there'd been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. You're free to atone as the man you are, not the traitor you thought you were or the warden you pretended to be. The man I am. I barely know him. But he... I... have a lot to make up for. If my future is mine, then I pledge it to the Inquisition. My sword is yours. If I'd said anything less, would an arrow from the rookery have snuffed me like a candle? Take your post, Tom Rainier. So this is the shrine Carithia sits on Calvernia. It is far, far too quiet. Shrines are back. Who here doesn't know that? Seems deserted. But they always seem deserted.
day stand such desolation. They sing to a maker who answers no prayers. Once I have ascended, I will be their answer. I will be their light. What is this? Who are you? Magister Erastides, am I a scholar of Tilinta? To Corypheus, I am bound to answer every question. <laughs> Corypheus did this to you, on Calpurnia's behalf. She knows not how to do it. I am a ruin, the jeweled husk when the butterfly leaves. I was the greatest scholar of the old gods in Minratus. No, in the Imperium. One night, he came to my door. For my relics, I thought, my writings and runes. And instead, my slave went to his son, Calpurnia, to become the vessel and save Tivinta. If Calpurnia is this vessel, what are the contents going to be? I do not know. Ours. Ours. It, it must be some sort of power. Power like a demi. Is that why Calpurnia joined Corypheus? To save your empire? Yes. She seeks a leader, Corypheus, to shape Tevinta's rebirth. Oh, oh. She would raise up the slaves as, as she was raised. Bring a new order with, with a heart of steel. She could do it if she were 
If Calpurnia is the one Corypheus wanted, why do this to you? For practice. I, Corypheus, crafts a vessel for whatever power he seeks. Yes, but he does not need his vessel to have free will. About her, these same chains will fall. I am to cage lighter in my binding is the poor pencil. Power without free will. That's her role as the vessel. Yoked like a canary major, a cerebus circumscribed sycophant. Oh. This chain has broken me, friend. No wind can raise my hand. Breach the circle. Its wards will trigger. I will be dust. And lie free. Or it will kill us. Corypheus is not above placing such a trap. Corypheus' circle will hold its destruction within. Tight. Tight. No fear. Only freedom. You seem honest, and you've suffered enough. Right now, would you? descend on this haven with fire and fury and take it back. Let us see what manner of peril this age has bred. I recited the old verses, how easily they come even after so long a slumber. Yet still I do not feel the presence of Dumont. Here no whispers, no commands. The reports from our agents at the shrine are intriguing. You were correct. Once Calpurnia becomes the vessel, she will lose her freedom. 
Forgive me, but I wish you hadn't been so quick to throw the Enspelled Magister away. We didn't need some screws. The Inquisition can deliver mercy now and then. At a cost. Well, done is done. Corypheus' notes mention a place where regret dwells. That is more of a mystery. Until the notes are deciphered, I intend rumors of the binding ritual to reach Carpenia's ears. Breaking her alliance with Corypheus can only help us. Breaching his sanctum might give Corypheus pause, yet Carpenia is silent, as are her agents. We have given her something to think about. A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. You're right reading it. Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valon, a small village on the Waking Sea. There is something hidden there. Do you know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valon would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. Why hide things in Valon? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the Divine. It is a place that holds great meaning for her. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valon. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valon. Try not to delay. Just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. I needed her wisdom after the hero of Ferelden died. It's peaceful here. You must have good memories of this place. It was a place of comfort. It is good to see it still untouched by Corypheus. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No, I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait. Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lady, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. You owe me twenty readings of the Canticle of Trials for that insult. She doesn't mean it. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh. Really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic, 
Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch, that light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. She must be thinking as much as you here. Let's look around. Do these flirting verses from the Benediction ever side it? That canticle will do its meat work. Will it? Of course. We'd never give up the traditions of our most beloved Eva. Sorry to keep you waiting. Good old Leliano was playing you the whole time. Didn't you realize? They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hand, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thivest away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? You must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with us. You don't have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us, join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray him. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my belief. At least I still know what I believe. Release her, Leliana. She is no threat. The Grand Cleric? She is one woman. We are the Inquisition. The Inquisitor has spoken. Run. Tell your mistress that she has a choice. The Inquisition is coming. No! This can't be it. There's nothing here. Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seems the puzzling sort. No, it's just... it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lives, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the face. She said she failed me. This is what she meant. All this time, 
Justinia carried the fear that she was using me, just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's gains were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Sacrifices are necessary. You know that. I never thought I'd hear this from you, Inquisitor. You were always an inspiration. I looked at you and saw someone who knows the way through the shadows. I was like that once, you know. But everything changes. And things are never as simple as we'd like them to be. Justina tried to save me. But all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. <laughs> 